Well, hello and welcome. My name is Jessica Hermanson, and I actually can relate a lot to you guys. I am a hairdresser. I've done hair for about 18 years. But about a year ago, I actually hung up with scissors and retired because my body just was like, mm, you're not doing this anymore. I'm not a spring chicken like you guys. But I am still in the beauty industry, and I have a passion for makeup and this line in particular, and I wanted to share it. Just like a good recipe or a killer sale, you know, you want to tell your friends about it. You don't want to keep it, you know, inside and keep it to yourself. You want everybody to, to benefit, right? Um, I'm going to tell you quickly about the background of this company, but then we're just going to play and have fun with makeup. And first, I want to introduce my adorable friend, Jen Whitaker. She is a licensed makeup artist. She trained in LA, and she's worked on movies, and she has, she does some modeling, and some acting. She is just so talented, so we are very, very fortunate to have her here tonight. I had to book her the second I found out about her, because she's amazing. Um, my daughter's getting married in January. She's actually doing her makeup. She did it for bridals, and I'm like, nobody else can do it. Jen has to do it. So. She's rockin' awesome. But we're gonna play with some eyes, so if any of you would like to volunteer your eyes to science. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. So Katie, you volunteer first, so awesome. Um, so, who has heard of the company Unique? Yay, Oh, I love it. Great. Um, this is kind of a little special baby of mine. Um, in 2012, I was working for part-time jobs. Cutting hair, I was selling like 80 things at a time on eBay. I was working in merchant service business, and I was also selling hair feathers. Remember several years ago when those were like the hot item? I went on TV and did my little four and a half minute spiel, and I did a booth of Swiss stays, and I like, you know, made all this money for a second. And then it just, you know, it was just a trend. So, but my cute little sister in law lives in Saratoga Springs, and she had a little boutique at her house, and I went there, and this lady came and said, I came specifically to see your product. She said, I have a brother, and whatever he touches turns to gold. And I said, as long as it's legal, I'm totally in. I don't even care what it is. I'll sell hot pads, I don't care. You know, um, and, and what was crazy about that night is I have seven kids, and I'm tired. Um, and it was just like this cold, windy night. It was just fussy, and I just didn't want to go anywhere. But you guys, that night changed my life. So the reason she wanted to meet me is because originally they were going to do hair extensions for the company. So they wanted the hairdresser's input. So I got to meet with them and they wind and dine me a little bit, took me to lunch, all that. We, we had these meetings and it was just so cool. So finally time the time came to launch and they said, hey Jess, we're playing hair first percent. So I I didn't really know what that meant. I'm like, hey, all right, let's go, you know? Um, well, to be honest, I haven't checked to see how many presenters we have now in five countries. But last time I checked, probably two weeks ago, it was 138,000 presenters in five countries. So this is a phenomenal opportunity. We're growing by 5100%. Um, and it, it just, it's really been life changing. Now this is the only job that I do. I mean, you'll never get away from cutting your mom's hair and your sister's hair. You know, I still do that a little bit, plus my seven kids and my husband, you know, it keeps me busy. But my body is thanking me because I sit down and I keep on my house and I just, you know, play makeup in there. So, so super duper fun. But let's get to the fun part and that's the amazing product. So this product is called Divine. This is Daily Moisturizer. And what we're going to do is we're going to have Jen come up and we're going to just play some fun eyes and lips. So Katie, we're going to have you go first. Okay, and then we're gonna play tag team. Then when you're done, you go tag somebody else too. Well. And we'll just see how many we can get done. No pressure, Jen. Come on, straight up. Just go if you want. Okay, so this is exciting because I have not even tried this product. I just got it in the mail. So you literally are watching me try to lose my but I've heard phenomenal things. By the way, um, no, I'm just gonna pass these out, and I'm so sorry. I'm gonna share with your neighbor because I thought I had a lot more. <laughs>
So I'm good. Okay, I forgot to mention one of the coolest parts about me being here tonight. My cute little camera girl back here, her name is Jess as well. You like, you like this. And really it was like, it was like that first time we met, right? Pretty much. Yeah, it was for me at least. Yeah. <laughs> and then cute Jerrica signed up to sell unique under Jess. So basically, I'm Jerrica's grandma. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's Jerrica's mom and the grandma. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, like it, love it. Okay, I get a lot of questions. What sets unique apart from Nam or German Hills or Mirabelle, you know, all those, which I'm not here to knock on any other. So, oh, you're almost done. Brilliant. I got you. Okay. Not really a smell. Ooh, that's good. So, What's also too is Unique just hired their very own chemist. His name is Mukdor Siddiqui, and he has been in the cosmetic industry for 35 years. He's worked, you know, Almay, Maybelline, you know, some of the, the names that we're all familiar with, but now he strictly works for Unique. So our products are designed by a true chemist. So I think that's really amazing. He has uh, seven products that are patented, and this um, we'll talk about next. This is called Uplift. He, he designed this. It has this cute little dropper. And you can put it on morning or night. But you just use these two fingers. Do you guys know why I use those two fingers? Because they're the weakest. And if we're really hard, we're going to give ourselves more wrinkles. So just put a little bit on these two fingers and just dab it on your eyes. So you're welcome to try that. It's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Put it on a friend. Put on a brand and then have a friend put it on you, right? Okay, I kind of got to have myself a little bit though. Um, I just am excited. You know what I'm going to say. So, um, two amazing sponsors. It has garden chrysanthemum, aloe vera, and licorice root. And you guys, it smells amazing. This one I have used actually add a little bit of sugar to it and make a scrub. Um, I've used, or you can put it on and leave it on overnight as a mask. So it's really cool because it's a universal product. Tons of men are crazy about this and you can smell it, play with it, put it on, try it, whatever. Um, it, it's amazing. Don't you love this, Jess? Awesome. Okay. And um, so oily and then normal to dry. So two formulas. So pass those down. Um, want to spend two seconds, okay, maybe longer, um, talking about the, the co-founder and owner of Unique. Um, this is the girl that I met at that little party doing the hair feathers that changed my life. Um, they're actually brother and sister. She's seven years older than him, but they are just so fun. Like at convention, they show pictures of them being you know, younger, fighting, wrestling in the leaves, and, like it just cracks me up because they're just this you know, normal family and he is brilliant. He sold a software company and um, he was in the, oh I always get the business magazine mixed up. Um, what was it? No, I think it was, I don't know, his, his bio is on my website. But um, anyway, he, he's a leukemia survivor. And then four years later, him and his boss were playing basketball and they came up and smashed heads. And it, it uh, caved in his ocular cavity, his sinus cavity, like we're talking major, like he has a scar from ear to ear. And at our convention, somebody said, did you get a brow lift? And he laughed so hard. He said, I may own a cosmetic company, but no, I did not get a brow lift. So he's just brilliant. He, um, so, so he had these two near-death experiences, and he said, you know what? Women work so hard. As wives, as mothers, as aunts, you know, women are really important. And sometimes we put ourselves on the back burner. Okay, so he said, I want to change women's lives. So the whole reason he started Unique is to help women feel empowered and uplifted and valued and beautiful 
And that truly is what it all is about. So right now, there's at least 138,000 women in this world who this company is changing their lives. And I, you know, I haven't bought a house on the beach yet, but I'll tell you what I have done. I was able to get a brand new car. I haven't had a brand new car in 17 years. Um, I was able to buy a car wash pass. That may sound really dumb to some people, but I didn't have, you know, a couple years ago, I didn't have six dollars to go get my car wash. So the fact that I can drive to the car wash five times in a row if I want, I have something it's just, you know, just because I can. Like just little dreams of mine are coming true, and it's so fun. I have built a team of, I checked today, I think 3,769 women. And I love them. I really love them. They're like my best friends. Like I see my wife's sisters and I'm like, yay! Like honestly, we would do anything for each other. It's just, it's such a sisterhood, a bond. So you put a great opportunity with amazing products. Everything is natural based. A lot of it's gluten free, vegan. Um, just awesome. Okay. I'm gonna whip out my Mary David, which is, is about this poster. Who has heard of the 3D fiber lashes? Has anybody tried them? <coughs> what do you think? They're awesome. They're fun, aren't they? Okay. So we sell 15,000 sets of these every single day. So you can't tell me that that many women have that taste or that many women are wrong. It means this is a rock and awesome product, okay? So it comes in this adorable little case, first of all. And it's a two-step process. So one tube is a little bit longer than the other two. And thanks, okay. Thank you. What do you guys think? You like hot pills? Yeah. Yeah. So the first step is the transplanting gel, and it looks just like you know your basic mascara. It's a dark product, and then. Once that's on, before it dries, you come back with the green tea fibers. And I'm gonna just put a little of this on my hand so you guys can see. So they're just little tiny hairs. You're, you're welcome to use that, I don't, I don't mind. Um, but I'm gonna show you something else too. Okay, this side I just have regular mascara, and this side I have 3D fiber lashes. Can you see the difference? <laughs> what I say is it's a push-up bra for your lashes. We all need a little lift, right? Come on, ladies. Did I already show you with the little fibers? So look, they're little tiny hairs. Can you see? My stuff. I really have lashes. It really is like the coolest stuff. I used to wear it just for like date night or going to lunch with the ladies. But now I wear it every single day. So I say I'm a fiber lash snob because if I don't have it on, so see the little tiny well, don't want that, but see how they're just little tiny hairs. So once you put the fibers on, oh, you know, what do you think? It's cool.
be honest, it bites. I hate, I hate waterproof mascara. This, how's it wash out? So easy, like, dead serious, this is how I wash mine off. I get hot water on my hands, and I go like this for a second, and then I use my face wash, rub that around, get a washcloth, and wash everything else. So cool. I love, 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 love that it's not hard to, you know. You know what, you know how you said that someone like makes up their things, and I said, I didn't have a problem. Ever since then, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple ladies where, you know, the tall one's the transplanting gel, and then the short one is the fibers, and they put like the wrong wand in, and I just didn't quite understand, because I always have them both in my hand, I get them both ready, you know, it's kind of a little uh, activity. <laughs> And, and I just whip them out. But after you do the fibers, then you follow up with the transplanting gel, and that just seals the fibers. Okay? They're a fantastic product for somebody who's had eyelash extensions, and they just can't afford it, or they don't have the time anymore. It's a great, like, baby step practice. Just our little eyelashes. <coughs> so, our cancer patients who have lost their eyelashes, and they're just barely coming back in. Oh, it's such a great, 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 great thing. Promise. If you try and love them. Okay, let's talk about one of my other favorite, favorite products. And it is our BB cream. Who knows what BB stands for? I didn't know. Beauty, I <gasps> pretty, pretty, beauty balm. You can buy those pretty stinking clothes. Okay, beauty balm. Now, the reason a BB cream is ideal for some people is because it's light. It's just like a tinted moisturizer. It's not heavy, they're not having this, you know, thick caked on um, Cheeto look. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so it's it's just nice, nice and light. Some days if I don't get to my full makeup, I'll at least throw some BB cream on for some uh, and some fiber lashes. And I'm good to go and I'm not gonna scare the little kid when they come to the door. Yeah. So these are the top three shades, and then we have three darker shades. We just added, added to our lab. So use as much as you'd like, play around with that, find out what shade would work with your skin type best. Um, okay. I'm going a little bit out of order, but I'm just excited. Okay, so who has ever used a primer? I have never used a primer in my entire life. I'm like, huh? You know, but just like if you're going to prime your walls, you want to cover the imperfections. You want to cover, uh, or you want the paint to stick, right? And you want it to be true to color. So that is what primer does. This is safe enough for your eyes and your face. And I even like to put it on my neck. And I'm not joking. My little four-year-old, she, um, mom, can I have some? Mom, can I have some? Like, no, the swab lotion's for you, sweetie. No. But she just loves it. So I'm going to put a little bit on, and we're just going to put it right on the back of your hand. And seriously, say what thoughts come to your mind. Like, ooh, smooth, silky, amazing. Whatever. Don't be shy. My friends. Okay. A little bit goes a long way. And it's not... It's not greasy. Have you tried this? I have not. Do you want some? Yes. 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 I'm just going to put it all over again. Right. Are you going to go Okay. I'm going to catch you out of the eyes. Okay. I'm not. Thank you. I'm hearing some words. Soft. What else? Silky. Don't you want to bathe in it? Look how fun. It's just fun. <laughs>
Oh, no. Not Natalie. Okay, so. Okay, good friends. These are amazing. I love them. Jess, what do you think? The best. The best. Like, really, they're smudge proof, waterproof. Like, it goes on, it ain't coming off. Um, there are videos on YouTube of, of presenters that have, like, drawn smiley, you know, drawn all over the hand and literally tried to scrub it off with soap and it, like, doesn't come off. So, you're welcome. Like, how cool. You try them. Yeah, you can, you're welcome to try them. Um, one thing that I just learned I haven't tried yet is. Do you ever put, I like to put eyeliner on my waterline, um, but to make your eyes look bigger, you put white on your waterline. So if anyone is feeling like totally, look at some of this guy! Yeah, yeah! Woo! Awesome. We've got some contour and highlighting going on back here. Anyway, I'm just going to pass those around. Actually, well, yeah, I was going to do the amount of you might not be able to see the color you want to see. That's like Sadie White. So, <clears throat> there's 10 eyeliner colors and five lip liner colors. And we just, since today's December 1st, found out that it comes in a cute little gift set. It's regular 165, and I think it's like 150. But it comes with the cute little sharpener. You can like, They just don't miss the detail. Cute little, by the way, purple is the. And that's my, been my favorite color my whole entire life. So that's when I knew I was like, oh, I'm all happy. Okay, so this is a cute little cleaner outer. <laughs> like, for real, don't you hate the crap that gets stuck in the tip? Are you so excited about this? Like, have all your dreams come true right now. Okay, so, and what's cool too is it sharpens them not to a sharp point, but like a nice round tip that's easy to work with. So pass that little baby around. <laughs> okay, let's see how she oh, okay. okay. So we're going to do this one. Try and you're totally welcome to. I just ask that you. 
you just pull it behind your finger so we keep it somewhat sanitary. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about the career that you are choosing. Okay? I don't think that there's a better career out there. Um, it is so, so, so much fun. And you know what's even funner? When you start making money. And being good is important, but being quick is important also. And making someone feel happy. Because who wants to come get their hair done? You know, and have the lady behind the chair sit and whine and moan about her miserable life and her <clears throat> No, guess what? We all have negativity in our lives. But when you get behind that chair, you put on a happy face, you pretend like your life is perfect, and you are a good listener. I have had people share with me things that they don't tell anybody else. Some things that I wouldn't care to know. But who am I going to tell? I'm just a hairdresser. And you guys, I have clients. I actually have two clients who will not take, I don't cut hair anymore for an answer. They're so stinking cute. And I've watched, and this little girl was like 12 when I started doing her hair. And now she's married, just had her third baby. Like, I'm part of the family. Like, I go to the wedding, and I, you know. So you are going to make lifelong friends. And I want you to remember something. Now, the statistics have probably changed in the last 18 years. I went to the community college, um, but at that time, there were about 11,000 hairdressers in the state of Utah. Do you guys have instructors? Do you have any idea how many there is now? How many? Just in, in the whole state of Utah? That are actively. Um, I got a newsletter from. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, regardless, we're talking thousands, okay? Yeah. So, when somebody chooses you to be their hairdresser, when they could go to all these other people, I want you to take it as a huge compliment, as a huge honor. And I will tell you, I am probably. I have commitment issues with my hairdresser. And my friends all know this about me. You laugh it is dead serious. I have some friends who have been going to the same girl for 20 years. Not me. I, I see my friend, she gets a new haircut, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute, we did my hair. You know? Seriously, I go to someone different all the time. And what happens is like, I say, oh, she got shampoo as good as so-and-so. Honestly, every time you do that person's hair, you have to keep that person. I, I feel like some of my friends are like, I don't wash your hair. It's like, come on! Are you kidding? I wash hair all day long. I want my hair washed. In fact, um, if any of you ever have an opportunity to assist at a salon, you will learn more doing that than you will in hair school. Not to put hair school down, but we're talking you know, if you learn a language and then you get to the country and you're like, what the crap are they saying? You know what I mean? It's just completely different. So, why I was going to do school, I worked for one of my instructors at his salon. Okay, his name was Rob Derrick. Oh, you. You know Rob? Yeah. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, when did you graduate? Uh, well, I did graduate. I switched to the school, okay. but it would have been 2009. And he's still there? Oh, he's See, I graduated in 96. Do you find it, is Jerry there, or? Jerry was Jerry. Grace. 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 Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Like, do I just love them? Like, forever you will love them. Um, anyway, so, so let me tell you about Rob. So, he, he cut hair, he only did haircuts, and his wife Connie sat right next to him and only did colors. They were so stinking cute, and I thought, you know, I love my husband Bob, but being with him all day long, all day, all day, oh, I don't know. I, he probably doesn't stand me, actually. Um, but he, you guys, he would schedule haircuts every 15 minutes. And I was his assistant. I would shampoo, and I would sweep the floor, I would clean the brushes, I would get fresh towels, I would take the money, I would make the next appointment. Like, I did all the stuff in between so he could just get... And one Saturday, he did 33 haircuts. I came home with bloody hands from my hands being in the water all day long. But you better believe that I got a better education doing that and seeing how it 
at work, then, then in school. I left school, and you learn important, important skills that you're never going to do again. You're never going to do pin girls or finger weights. Like, do you even do those anymore? Oh, see? I'm old. But I, I just think it is so awesome that career you've chosen because it will, it will be so gratifying. When somebody looks in the mirror and feels pretty, it is so rewarding. And that's like with makeup. I mean, the reason hair and makeup go hand in hand is because people are already in your chair. They're already wanting to feel beautiful. Okay? So when I was still cutting hair and doing unique, I would have my little pigments. We haven't even talked about our amazing 32 pigments, 16 matte and 16 shimmer. I would have those sitting out just like that. Sat and sit down. Oh, I'm so glad you're out. While you're processing, let's throw a little bit of makeup on. And I would do up her eyes and she'd look in the room. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, dead serious. I came back from a convention, had all these makeup techniques, I was excited about stuff, so put on Facebook. Hey, will anybody uh, let me play on their face? I had 11 people say, me, 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 me. Who doesn't want to sit in the chair and be the center of attention and feel pretty and say, I want to say to him, can I take before and after pictures? Are you kidding me? We totally light up. Let's all be honest. We want to be drive the camera. Um, but truly, I had 11 people, and in four hours, I sold $385 worth of makeup. And I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying. That was the beauty of it, is they got it on. They loved it. They loved how they looked. They can bam. They, they're hooked, and they're, they're ordering, and they're good customers. And I am making friends all over the entire world. I have a team growing in England. Karen's been there. I don't know if I can find it on a map, maybe, hopefully. Um, Australia, New Zealand. Um, just freaking awesome. So, so excited. So amazing. Okay, well, let's see what else we haven't talked about. Oh, I'm just going to touch on this a little bit. Oh, touch? <laughs> I didn't even know I was cracking up funny. Um, so we have. Cream foundation and pressed powder foundation. And this is my sample, so no, it does not look pretty and brand new, but that's the point of a sample, right? So you can just play a little bit, you put it on your face, I don't care. Um, but really and truly, it is Photoshop and compact. And it has this adorable little trap door so that your sponge doesn't sit on your product all night long and get oil and uh, ruin your product. So, I just think that's so cute. So, there is that. I think it comes in 10 shades. Let's see. Okay, here's the other super freaking cool thing about the Okay, yeah, see that's how many shades it comes in. So, pretty good spread. Um, so, for example, so the owner, Jared Maxfield, okay, this is his wife, Shalane, and she is a presenter. She is presenter number 13. And that's what I love, is they have like real life people, real life presenters in this. It's not just, you know, these perfect role models that don't have one flaw. And, um, <coughs> and so I love that. It's just real and, and down to earth. Um, I get dressed. Okay, let's 
colors. You know, it's just fun, super fun. And then this side is is nice too for shading. Now, the ferrules are 100% rust proof. So if you take good care of them, they will last a long time. And you can clean them in vinegar, a little bit of shampoo and warm water. They're just awesome. I had never really used brush. I was still using the little sponge and eye shadow. So I'm up to date now, girls. Um, So basically, that is our product line. Now, remember we're only two years old, so we are constantly coming out with new products. Um, thank you, dear. Every spring and fall, they come out with new products. And just to give you an idea of how we've grown, at the very first convention in, let's see, 2013? No, 2012. So it was 11 that I met Melanie, I'm so sorry. Um, there was 74 of us at convention, 74 people up at Park City. And it was like, all of a sudden, this is a cool group, you know? And Derek gets on the stage and he says, by next year, in one year from now, I predict 10,000 presenters. And it was like, oh, like I couldn't even fathom that. Well, by, by that next year that he was predicting, we were at, ooh, love the lips. Brock and awesome. Look at that, you guys. Check out Brock. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, by the next August, we had 87,000 presenters. Like, we knocked his socks off. Every goal we've ever, you know, he's ever set, we're like, here. So one time, I went to a retreat, all inclusive. They paid for everything. It was so much fun. It was like two days. We could spend with the owners and just get to know these girls from all over. And, um, Goals. Goals. How we bloom out of water. Yes, thank you, Jess. Predicting. See, that's why you're so great. Predictive. That was a good one. <laughs> um, mention. Presenters. Cheerleading towards oh, the yeah. iPad. I love you. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we, as a group, there was about 15 of us. We went into Derek's office and we made projections for that month. Okay. So now we're a 300 million dollar company, and we do a million dollars in one day. But at that time, I think our highest was like 2.7, 2.7 million. So we have stickers that we got to put up on the board where we thought um, it was going to be. And literally, these women I had known for five minutes are looking at me like, you're cuckoo. I ran up to the board and I jumped up and I went, 5.9 million. And really, everybody's looking at me like, what's she drinking? I know. Um, but guess what? Guess who won an iPad? Actually, I won two for me. Two iPads. An iPad and an iPad mini. And I get that much more. You know what I mean? It, it's just this company is, is giving me opportunities I just haven't had any other ways, you know? And I have big goals and big dreams, but it's about changing lives and helping women who are beautiful. You guys are all incredibly beautiful, and you're awesome, and you have talents and qualities that others don't have. Okay? And there's so much in today's world that put women down, and if we don't look like you know, all of them in Vogue, then we're not beautiful. Whatever. No, that's not true. It's not true. Um, Jim, I've been talking the whole entire time. Do you have anything that you want to add? As far as, okay, so so here's here's what I did. So Jen actually is a freelance, can I say the L word? <laughs> For Lancome. Lancome? Lancome? I don't know if I'm going to say it. She, she's a freelance makeup artist. And so I took my unique products over in a box and I said, hey, we can do a favor. We can do these and try them out. And we have not rehearsed this. I have not told her what to say. So Jen, honestly, from a makeup artist standpoint, what do you think about? They're pretty pigmented. They go on really thick. They blend really nicely. Have you guys used loose pigments before? I, I hadn't 
and you should have seen the first time I did my makeup. Um, it was all done with face. I'm like, there's 20 bucks though, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's the other freaking amazing thing. Okay, I love matte makeup. I do, I'll be honest. But you go to the matte counter, this is 1.1 grams. You pay $27. $27 for one of these. I don't know about you, but $27 is a lot of money. So, ours are 10. They are going to go up to 1250 only because we just came out with the announcement that almost everything is going to be made in the USA. You know how many jobs that's going to create? Like, that makes me so excited. I'll pay the extra 250 just to have it you know, made here. So, so, that's the thing too, is our stuff is, is affordable. You know, it's not going to totally break your vein to, to purchase a kit. So, um, let's just talk a little bit more about becoming a presenter. $99. It's $99 for the kit. And you get $213 worth of makeup in your kit. You get a free website forever. With Derek being a big software guru, he has made it so there's no you know, $35 website fee every month. Totally free. Um, what else, Jess? It's just like, you, there's no auto ships. To, to remain active, you only have to sell $125 every three months. And like, I've never done when it's not when we sell, let's be honest. And then as a presenter, you get 20 to 30% off. But you guys, it is like it's it's a no-brainer. Like if you do hair, sell anything. I mean honestly, it's I mean who doesn't want to make more money? Does anybody in this room have all the money that they want? Just want to make sure. Okay? Because I don't get I've got a lot of actually. Um, but honestly, it is, it is such a fun company to be a part of, and um, I have nothing bad to say, nothing bad to say. But I am just going to open it up for questions. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. How much is that I want to stuff that I have? Yeah. I believe 65, and it's not in there because it's brand, brand, brand new. The ice cream, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, The liquid gold. We were watching her. They were over there. I have bad circles. <gasps> I did it like a month? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just when did they launch that? September? Let's see. They announced a convention, which was August. Um, yeah. So that's why it's not in the catalog yet. Is It's brand new. And I'm going to put Jess on the spot here for a minute. <laughs> she has said to me before, I wish I would have joined your name a long time before I did. Am I right? Well, I did join a long time ago. I just didn't listen to the knock at the door. Okay. This is a big, fat, loud knock at the door right now. Because either I can keep making money on, you know, the sales, or we both can. You know what I mean? So, so Jerrica, being my granddaughter, would be your rock and team leader. And you guys, I'm not pushing. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and, and watch you sign up. That is not me at all. I'm simply an information booth to say here is a phenomenal opportunity. It is knocking. No pressure. You don't have to decide tonight. But honestly, this has been the best $99 I have ever spent. And I even get emotional about it because it really has blessed my family so much. And it's changing lives all over the world. You know, I have friends who are in abusive situations and they don't have the courage to leave or the finances. And this is helping them see, you know what, you can do it. You know, so it's just, it's empowering women all over the whole world and I just, I love it. I, I think I bleed purple now because I love this company so much. But it really, it's what I've been looking for my whole life. Just, it's going down different avenues. So, questions?
an airbrush, whether it be gold, badge, or squirrel, or sable, which is horse, and you want to have one, um, they A, last longer, B, blend better, and C, they're going to be a higher quality brush all around, no matter what. It doesn't matter which real hairbrush you get. Squirrel's one of the more expensive, Squirrel and Badger. They're a little bit softer and a little bit finer, but just get one that's real hair. It will last you longer. You'll save half the cost on brushes, especially professionally when you're washing them every night after you do makeup. Those bristles will start to fall apart if you don't get real hair brushes. And you want to have some synthetic hair brushes as well. Um, so you want a synthetic hair like a nylon or a Teflon brush to blend liquids. Because think of when you paint a fence, you don't want to use a real hair brush when you paint liquid. You want to use a, a nylon brush because it's going to go on a lot smoother with liquid. Thank you. Awesome. See why I brought her? Actually, she brought me. <laughs> Any other questions? Girls that have had their eyes done so far, have you even had a chance to look? Did you look in the mirror? What do you think? I feel like I should go out on the Yeah, be like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hair remover. You know what? We don't do that. But I think I think it's coming. The land bill has a really. <laughs>
got a couple shows coming up for the holidays, and I'm excited. And I do a lot with my sister, and we are the biggest nerds together, and we don't even care. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a great job if somebody wants to stay home and raise their babies, or just, you know. I have a, a, a girl on my team who has Crohn's disease. And that's a balance for her, so she can't she can't work out. She does hair and makeup, but she can't work outside the home. So she found unique, and she said unique was the answer to my prayers because I can work at home. I can still help them feel beautiful. I can still, you know, feel important. Like I'm bringing some money in. So it's been a huge blessing for that because you can do it home. I mean, literally, I stick it in the nooks and crannies of my day while I'm sitting waiting for carpool or why I'm, I don't know, like. People are like, how much time do you spend working? I'm like, work? What's work? I just play on social media. <laughs> That's awesome. Or I get together with my girlfriends and we, you know, do makeovers. Or my daughter, like, my daughters, hello, I know, let's go, you know. So it's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't know what else I want to say. Any other questions?